counter steering is if you're riding a bike or a motorcycle and you want to turn one way, you start to turn by pushing the handlebars in the opposite direction. That is, in order to turn left, you start by pushing the handlebars to the right. In order to turn right, you push the handlebars to the left. In order to turn left, you start by pushing the handlebars to the right. One finger pushing on the bars. We gotta push. We start a turn like this in order to make the bike lean over in the direction we're trying to turn. I'll try my best to explain why we need to make the bike lean and how counter steering causes the bike to lean. If we look at my body on a bicycle, in equilibrium, moving along in a straight line. We can see there's a force of gravity, and there's the normal force provided by the seat post. When I'm riding in a straight line, these forces are equal and opposite, hence I'm in equilibrium, my acceleration is zero, and my velocity is constant. So I'm vertical, so that the normal force pushing up on me and the force of gravity pushing down are anti-parallel, and they cancel. However, if I want to turn, I need some acceleration in this direction. So the net force also has to be oriented in this direction. And so if I lean into the turn, now the force of gravity is still straight down, but the normal force pushing on my body is at an angle because this post can only provide compressional force. And so when we add these two forces, the normal force plus the force of gravity results in a net force that accelerates me in this direction. So I need to lean in order for the normal force on me to be at an angle resulting in a net force that is not zero in the direction I'm going to accelerate. So this is why we have to lean into a turn. There's two mechanisms by which counter steering causes us to lean and they depend on your speed and how heavy the wheels of your bicycle are. At low speeds, when you counter steer, the front wheel turns and the wheels of the bicycle come out from under you, resulting in an unbalanced force of gravity, which actually pulls you over further until you initiate your turn and accelerate into the turn. Here you see me vertically oriented, riding in a straight line, in equilibrium. I turn the handlebars to the left, and the wheels move out from under me to the left and I fall to the right under the force of gravity. And then I turn the handlebars to the right and execute my turn. Just like when you step one way to accelerate the other way. However, at very high speeds and especially with very heavy wheels, the front wheel doesn't actually turn when you push the handlebars into counter steering, but the bike leans over as if by magic. Why is this? When you're riding along, the wheel is spinning and you have angular momentum to the left. The angular momentum is very big when you have heavy wheels with a large moment of inertia and when you're moving very fast when omega is high. And so what happens when you go to turn the wheel in the wrong direction? Is that that torque, that torque from pushing the wheel provides a change in angular momentum because your angular impulse is equal to the torque times delta t, the time. That angular impulse is added to the angular momentum you already have and you get a new angular momentum in this direction. So you can see when you push the wheel in the wrong direction, the front wheel and the bike lean into the turn. Once the bike is leaned into the turn, what turns the front wheel? It's the torque of gravity. In this orientation, gravity provides a torque to rotate the wheel in this direction, providing another angular impulse that's very strong because the torque of gravity is very strong on the heavy bike. So if the front wheel has an angular momentum in this direction, and you add an angular impulse from the torque of gravity in this direction, 
the wheel rotates and accelerates you into the turn. You can see this very clearly with my bicycle and the spinning wheel. As I put a torque on the stem, you see the front wheel rotate. You can also see this when we roll a wheel that is not vertical on the ground. The torque of gravity rotates the wheel into the turn. And you see this very clearly with this motorcyclist. He pushes the steering column to turn right. That torque tips the bike to the left. The torque of gravity rotates the steering column to the left. So you see him push to the right and the steering column turns to the left. So we need to lean a bike into a turn in order to make the bike turn. And we can do so by pushing the handlebars in the wrong direction. That's called counter steering. It's worth noting that we have a deeper sense of leaning into a turn than we do that counter steering is necessary. For instance, mountain bikers will tell you, never look where you don't want to go. If you look where you don't want to go, you're going to avoid it. Oh, and counter steer and run right into it. Watch how this happens as my niece is learning to ride a bike for the first time. She wants to avoid the tree. She counter steers away from it. It leans the bike into the tree. Don't crash into the tree. If we look carefully, we can see at the last moment, this little boy tries to turn to the left to avoid the tree, but all this does is lean the bike over to the right and he hits a tree square on. So don't tell your kids, watch out for that tree. Tell your kids, watch that grassy spot right there and make sure you aim for it. Boom! How's that feel to fall on the ground? Huh?